and court has your forecast to start the week. So court, maybe bring the sweater with us as we're heading out the door this morning. It's not a bad idea. That light extra layer will do you well this morning. Doesn't look like you're going to want it throughout the entire day, though, as we're going to be seeing temperatures on the rise heading into your Monday afternoon. But a mild start to the day. Clouds clearing out will end up pretty mild this afternoon and then we'll end up dry and a bit warmer through the rest of this week. So some great news if you're hoping to get out and about after that cool and soggy weekend we had across our region. A live look outside this morning, the Sundial Bridge in Redding. You can see it's lit up right now in orange and it's going to be a great day to get out for that fresh air for a stroll across the bridge today. Temperatures not too shabby this morning. 50 degrees right now in Redding, 48 for Chico as well as Red Bluff and 51 currently in Orville. So we're in those 40s to lower 50s in the valley. 30s to mid 40s in the foothills right now, 44 degrees in paradise. And we're in the 30s for most mountain zones, but a few cities in the lower 40s like Weaverville in Trinity County right now. Winds out of the northeast up to around 8 miles an hour to start the day. And those winds not getting stronger throughout the day. We'll see gusts maybe 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the north if that. Winds staying pretty similar over the next couple of days, but getting a little breezy tomorrow morning up to 20 mile an hour gusts along I-5 and then subsiding a bit towards the afternoon, but a little breezy in our mountain zones subsiding for those winds in the valley. Satellite and radar showing you some clouds brushing on through overnight into this morning, but those clouds are really just diminishing early on today. And the reason why we're seeing the clearing skies and dry conditions is that cool and wet system that brought our showers and cooler temperatures over the weekend now centered to our east. You can see this rotation here to the east. That's tracking further from our region. Meanwhile, high pressure off the coast is going to be building inland. Remember, high means dry. You can see this arc in the clouds here, so this is going to act as that buffer zone to keep showers at bay into our north as we head through the next several days. And as you get a look at your hyperlocal future cast at 8 a.m. in the valley, we've got some sunshine in Butte and Glen County zones at 8 a.m., but some clouds over the northern end of the valley in higher elevations as you're way out the door this morning. At noon today, those clouds are thinner across the board for the valley, and then at 5 5 p.m. for your commute home. It looks like we're seeing some sunshine out there. So you're going to want to get those sunglasses handy. It's going to be a bright commute home later today. Some clouds brushing on through overhead early on tomorrow morning, but thinning out again as we head into the afternoon. So mostly sunny out there for your Tuesday. And then we're going to see more of the same over the next few days. Clouds just brushing on through, but for the most part, sunshine. A little more cloud cover Thursday and Friday morning and then clearing out again for the afternoon. And then it looks like we'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and dry weather persisting this weekend. Temperatures today climbing into the 60s to lower 70s in the northern mountains will end up in the 50s to mid 60s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothill areas also ending up in those 50s to mid 60s. And if you're in the valley today, temperatures topping out in the mid 70s for the far northern zones. Looks like we'll be in the lower 70s for the mid valley this afternoon. So no matter where you are, it does look to be pretty comfortable with fairly mild temperatures across our region later on today. Your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Those temperatures on the rise over the next few days. So it's low to mid 70s today, upper 70s to low 80s and mostly sunny tomorrow and then not much variety out there after that. It's lower 80s Wednesday into the weekend with mostly sunny skies. Reading very similar mid 70s for today and then lower 80s returning tomorrow. Staying in those lower 80s for the rest of this week and it looks like we'll stay pretty similar heading into that weekend. So about as nice as you could draw it up for mid April. Chloe, this looks fantastic for us throughout the week. And if you were a little bit tired of getting stuck indoors with the rain over the weekend, you're in luck with the seven day forecast. Good to know. Thanks, Court.